everyone, it's Anna from thelikephoto.com. Today we're going to be doing a Polaroid tutorial and this is a final image that you'll end up with. Um, this is something that I did a while ago, another one that I did in Joshua Tree. It's probably one of my favorite places in California. It's such a cool place to visit so I highly recommend it if you ever get a chance. Um, so we're going to be starting with this photo here. And I have two layers ready to go. Right now I have my Polaroid here and the Joshua tree. So I put the Polaroid on top and then you can see the Joshua tree underneath. So they're almost lined up pretty close, but this will work for what we need to do. So the first thing we're going to do is add a layer mask to this top layer. And then we're going to come in here and just cut out the Polaroid and where the tree is. So I'm just going to be using the selection tool and I'm going to come in and delete this right in here. I'm just going to go up around the tree a little bit. Get that little corner there. Looks like some broccoli or something. Okay, cool. And then I'm just going to add black to bring that forward. Okay, deselect. And then I'm going to come in with the brush tool and I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit and clean up this hard line. I think what I might actually do is just bring that out even more to bring some of these clouds right there into focus a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to blur the edges of this Polaroid so it starts to kind of fade into the background. And I'm just doing this again by painting with black on my layer mask. Black to hide and white to reveal. Always remember that and you'll be good to go. So I'm doing this pretty fast for the tutorial, but take your time with this. Get it to look how you want it to. I'm going to bring this back in, actually, because I think I actually want it to be coming out of the Polaroid. So a little bit more like that. And just like I said, keep working with this and figure out what looks good. So just in squaring that corner there, and I'm kind of going back and forth with this and cleaning it up. Okay, cool. Then what I'm going to do is take these two and merge them together. That's a little bit of a destructive edit because you really want to keep these layers separate, especially if you're editing for a client where they don't like something and they want you to go back. But I tend to do this sometimes. It's really bad. But it keeps things moving quickly and for this tutorial it will keep us moving right along. So then I'm going to go into Camera Raw Filter because as you know from previous tutorials, I really like this interface because it's similar to Lightroom. And I'm going to bring the saturation down, the vibrance down, and I'm going to bring highlights down, shadows up a little bit, bring the exposure down, I think warm this up a bit, bring the saturation back up. Um, I'm going to go in and add a vignette, do some split toning. and bring the contrast up on that. I also don't like in this how my hand here looks 
very orange. So what I'm gonna do is come over here where you have the dodge and burn tool and just go to the sponge tool. I'm gonna go up to desaturate and then I'm gonna bring my flow. Right now it's at eight, which is okay. Um, if you wanna fully desaturate something, bring it up to 100. I'm gonna bring it mm, around 19 for now. Bring my brush size up and just go over my hand a little bit. So that's even a little bit too desaturated, so I'm gonna bring this down and just lightly touch in there. Okay, so as you can see, it takes it from being a lot oranger and brighter to a little bit cooler tone, so it's not as dis distracting. This is maybe a little bit dark. It looks a little deadish, but um, that seems to work. So I'm gonna just bring that back a little bit. Okay, and on the other image that I did, I actually added, this is a lot brighter. I guess my style has slightly changed, but um, I also added some birds up in here, which is something that I tend to like to do a lot. Um, so I think actually I'm going to brighten this up again and go, eh, I'm not going to go into camera raw filter this time. I'm going to show you guys something else. So to add a mask onto your image, so this is a good way of non-destructive editing so that you can change something if a client changes their mind or even if you change your mind. So I'm going to go in here and go to levels and I'm just going to brighten this up a bit. And then I'm also going to add another layer and I think mm, let's just bring the saturation up a little and then in here you can mess with the hue so that's a little bit funky. Um, I'm not going to mess with that on this image but you guys can do it on yours. So. There we go. So then the great thing with these layer mask edits is that you can turn this on and off if you decide that you don't like it anymore. You can just even trash it. You can drag it over here, throw it right in the trash, and there you go. Now it's gone. So that's, like I said, a great way for non-destructive editing. I'm going to actually just bring that back. And that's it for that. And it's a super cool way to do a surreal effect on a Polaroid. I did this with a balloon recently and you can just really have some fun with this. As you can see, this could be a little bit more touched up, but I'm doing this really fast because I'm trying to keep all these tutorials between five and 10 minutes. So I want you guys to learn quickly and efficiently, but feel free to take your time with this. So if you enjoyed this video, subscribe below and check out thelikephoto.com. As always, let me know if there's anything that you guys want to learn, and I'll be happy to do a tutorial on it. I'll see you all next time.